Major Hewlett. Oh, you've come. As I said, I hope I'm not interrupting. No, 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 not at all, not at all. Here, come look. What is it? This is a reflecting telescope, the very latest of its kind. Look. What is that? They are the constellations, only closer. You were right, this is a marvel. Yes. This one's mirror was cast, ground and polished by William Herschel himself. William? Herschel, greatest astronomer of our age. We've uh, long been in correspondence, and he, he has recently confided to me that there may be a seventh planet in our solar system. I suggested to him that if he finds it, he should christen it Georgium after our king. The heavens are serene and eternal, strong, their movements predictable. There is a divine law and order to the universe, just as there is to our empire. Am I to presume you, you wanted to be an astronomer and not a soldier? Well, it is true that the stars were my calling, but uh, the American trade boycotts almost bankrupted my father. One must earn living, the army beckoned. And then this rebellion came, and, well, here I sit. I admit, when I first saw this, I thought it's some kind of cannon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> be aimed across the sound at our rebel counterparts. Yes, I suppose we could use it as a spyglass. I find myself constantly impressed by modern science. Well, it gives me hope to hear it. For we are at the birth of a new age, Anna. I, for one, put my faith in reason, in order. For example, I believe that Halley's Comet will return precisely on schedule in 1835, like celestial clockwork, as a mark of the Lord's favor towards our empire. Amen, sir. Anna, may I request that you call me Edmund, at least when we're alone? Edmund? Yes, named after Halley himself. Edmund, it's getting late. Yes. My men will escort you home. <laughs> 